Hello everyone, it is Friday, July 7th. I'm Nathalie Pozo with your news to go. Crews put a stop to a broken pipe that leaked gallons of sewage into the intracoastal waterway for four days in Boynton Beach. They had been working on this since Monday. This is going on in the area of Boynton Beach Boulevard between Federal Highway and the Intracoastal. The utility director says people living in the area should not be concerned about drinking water quality. The city will continue cleaning up the waterway and work on replacing the pipe and also testing the water in the Intracoastal. Governor Ron DeSantis has reportedly raised $20 million since launching his presidential campaign six weeks ago. That announcement comes as former President Donald Trump's team reveals his campaign brought in $35 million during the same time frame. ABC News says DeSantis is the second most popular Republican presidential candidate that comes after former President Donald Trump. A Publix that was demolished nearly two years ago after a deadly shooting has rebuilt and is now back open. The new Publix, which is on Royal Palm Boulevard in the Crossroads Shopping Center, opened yesterday morning. In 2021, a man shot and killed a grandmother and her one-year-old grandson then turned the gun on himself. Authorities believe the shooting was a random act by a mentally ill man. Sandra. All righty, well, here's a look at what we've got going. A heat advisory just issued 11 until 7 for all of Palm Beach County, just like yesterday. We're going to be feeling like 105 plus this afternoon. Right now, we're already in feeling like the upper 80s. Heat advisory, 104 feels like conditions this afternoon. Actual highs surging into the 96 degree range. We could, in fact, break another record here in West Palm Beach. Take it easy out there.